Okay, this might be live now. I'll wait a moment to see. Looks like it. Now I am going to check on my phone just to make sure that this looks all right. I should have a starting soon thing right up there. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming. So yeah, I've got my new fancy starting soon screen up. Every time I live stream, I kind of want to like add something new. Hi, welcome. Here's my sister, so I'm going to make her a mod. Once I figure out how, add moderator, here we go. There you go. Okay. Hopefully that worked. So yeah, um, this live stream, we're going to wait a little bit for more people to join. But we are going to be drawing horses. So I'm going to go through like everything that you should know. And so I recommend now would be a good time to like grab like your sketchbook or something to draw along. I think it'll be pretty fun. Hopefully my sound quality is okay. I am checking YouTube right now. Let's see. Hopefully my thumbnail is working. Yes, it's working. Hi, welcome. I, I did not uh, have any uh, announcement for this live stream, so I'm hoping that people will end up finding it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the thumbnail's working. Looks like my starting soon screen's working. Uh, at some point, I'll probably have music. Uh, right now, you just get my voice. Yes, now my sister gets to have the fancy wrench thing or whatever that is. So powerful. So, um... Let's talk about some stuff before we start. Uh, once again, you should grab something to draw with if you want to, so that you can follow along with me. Uh, first off, um, planning on doing more animations. Uh, I really want to join some maps, but I haven't really found one I want to join yet. And then also uh, doing other animations. I've got like a couple going right now. Uh, I really want to like animate, like take like live action and three D animated like movie scenes and like two D animate them. I've already started one, and I think that's kind of cool, so we'll see how that goes. Welcome, thank you. I've also got my subscriber count up. You can't see it, but I can. So, you know, if you subscribe, you get a personal thanking from me. <laughs> and let's see, what else? So, yeah, animations, of course, more of my usual videos. Uh, I'm excited to have my community tab, which should be like next month. I think they're giving it to everyone. So then I'll be able to do like polls and uh, just like picture posts. And I think that'll be really helpful. So yeah, that's exciting. Hello, welcome, thanks for coming. We'll start very, very soon. Let's give it like another, uh, how long ago did I start? <laughs> it's, been, it's been three minutes already. Okay, we're gonna give it a couple minutes and then we're going to start. Hello, welcome, thanks for coming. <laughs> what else should I talk about? How are you guys doing? How is your, how's your week been? It's been good. My week's been pretty good. I've got more work to do, but luckily it's not too much. School's been going well, hopefully for you guys too. Should we just go ahead and get started? Is everyone ready? Shall we shall we start drawing the horses? Can't wait. Yeah, let's let's do. Let's do this. Doing good. Glad you're doing good. Okay, so I think if I do, let's see. Um, this, this, you should see Photoshop. Give it a moment. Did that work? Are you seeing Photoshop now? I've got, there we go, yeah, okay. So, uh, Photoshop, we're all set. I need my art glove. I'm all prepared, hopefully. Gonna draw the ponies. My stylus was like magnetically attached to this thing. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so uh, we're going to do this one at a time, like one, one element at a time. And hopefully at the end of this, you will be horse drawing a prose. So um, let's grab my 
pencil tool. Where did that go? Here's one. And so we are going to start, <laughs> we're going to start with uh, the body shape. So I think over here I should have some actual horse pictures. Yes, here we go. Here's our horse model. So um, I'm going to move my phone a second. This is bothering me. Okay, we're all set. Thank everyone for coming again. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you have fun. So horse body shape. Um, well, usually people draw a, am I on the right layer? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, draw a oval circle thing. An oval circle thing over here. It's kind of a weird angle this horse is at, but I think it still gets the idea across. And then a middle circle thing. And so you kind of end up with these three circles. And they're slightly overlapping because the horse is not standing perfectly straight. And so uh, then, of course, this is obviously not perfect. <laughs> this is not the, quite the horse's body shape. Uh, let's do like a little guideline here. Like this is where the horse's chest is. And uh, so if you take a look at, well, first off the body, like the middle part, the back, well, it peaks right here which is, I think, called the withers. I was going to look at my old horsemanship manual so that I knew I could, like, remember all the parts of the horse. Uh, I did not do that, so... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, tr we'll do my best. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, there's, I think, the withers, which is, like, the highest point on the back. And then the back curves down. So let's erase that bit of the circle. We don't need that anymore. We don't want that. And then it also peaks right here and then slopes down. This is called like the croup, so there's this like slope that leads to the tail. And then just like the back, the stomach also goes down. So let's uh, go away from our horse picture over here and draw this on my own canvas. So let's, uh, let's just do this in the middle. So we've got circle, circle, circle. I usually make the middle circle a little bit smaller. I don't know. Because a whole circle in the middle is a bit excessive. You end up with a pretty long horse. <laughs> we want a, a normal horse. If you really want a long horse, then you can make it long. So yeah, three circles. Um, Withers about here, the peak of the back. Curve back. Get that nice slope. Uh, lower peak here. Croup, which is this flat part. This is where the tail is. And then it sort of like forms a point. So think of the like um, area right here, just the back of the horse is like this point where the tail is, and then the um, stomach area is also sloping down like this, just like the back. And look at the comments. Yes, 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 of course. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, this is basically just the shape of the shape of the horse, horse body. Then the chest would be here, just kind of you know, just kind of there. And this is the horse body. It's the horse body is pretty simple compared to the rest of the horse. I know the head. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to spend a lot of time on the head because there's a lot going on there. The horse body kind of looks like a potato. Yeah, it's a lumpy potato. Lumpy potato horse body. I love your art style. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, now, have we pretty much covered everything about the horse body? Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there's gonna be a shoulder right here. So sometimes you'll want to kind of indicate that shoulder right there. This is the front. Let's, let's, let's make sure we know this. This is the front of the horse. And this is the back of the horse. Just like that. How do y'all pronounce potato? 
Is there more than one way to pronounce potato? I guess you could say like potato. <laughs> okay, so next, let's see what I've got on my list. Next, we're gonna talk about the neck of the horse. So let's go back over here. Horse necks. Horse necks are very, uh, I don't wanna say why because that's gonna give the wrong impression. I would say like tall. So comes up from this part of the chest right here and sort of curves. This is like the throat right here. And so you end up with this sort of shape. There's a lot, it's, there's a lot here. But the thing about this is it's not like that all the way around. Here's another good example. You see throat area, rest of the neck, for, it sort of forms this like shape like this. Just like that. And you just have to remember how like tall it is. That's a weird word to use, but that's what I, that's the only way I can describe it. But if you're looking at a horse from say like the top, the neck is not going to look that thick. <laughs> it's going to be a lot thinner looking. Like say here's the, here's the horse neck, uh, horse head. Let's see if I can, see if I can try to make this make sense. See, the neck here is not going to look as thick when you look at it from this angle, but when you're looking at it from like the side, it's going to look quite tall and wide. So yeah, just like this, really. It's very simple, again. A uh, head would be here, but we're not gonna deal with that yet. Let's see, uh, I pronounce it as potato. You're going to say potato? I like potato. <laughs> That's fun to say. We need to reconsider the way we say potato. So uh, yeah, horse necks. <laughs> so um, other things about the horse neck is uh, they'll have this like throat line, which will usually go like this. Just like a line here on the lower part of the neck. You can shade it in here just to, to get the idea. Just like that. Does that make sense? Can you tell like what part of the horse is this I'm drawing? Like here's the mane. Here we go. Pretty horse hair. Here's where the head will be, but we're not doing the head yet, so let's give it like a cute head. There. Here's my horse. There we go. So yeah. Once again, you know, just just make it tall enough. And then it like thins out closer to the closer to the head and sort of like pinches in. It's like wider, closer to the shoulder than it is to the head. This is a this is a nice drawing. <laughs> yes, it is a beautiful stream so far. I'm glad that you think so. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, this is horse necks. Have we covered everything about horse necks? This is where the withers is. The highest part of the um, the back is right here at the end of the top of the neck. <laughs> Trying to make my words make sense. So yeah, then the back would be like here. So let's go ahead and add a neck to our horse over here. So withers right here. Neck will go like this just like that. And then add the throat line like that. When I draw a horse one part at a time, I'm kind of worried this horse is going to end up looking a little bit wonky. <laughs> I'm just going to hope for the best. So yeah, here's our uh, a horse that is currently nothing but a body and a neck. <laughs> you like my head? Thank you. It's it's very, very certainly interesting. I think it needs eyebrows. There we go. Perfect. Anyways, uh, what's next? The head. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. You ready? We're gonna do the head. So let's take a look at horse heads first. Um, as you will see here, uh, what is this thing around there? Okay, so horse heads. You have um, this, this half circle area right here that connects to the throat line. There's a throat line. 
And so, yeah, we've got this part. Then, so the front part of the head of the horse <laughs> is usually it's pretty flat, but it usually depends on the horse. Some horses, um, depending on the kind, will end up looking more like this, where it like curves like that. Uh, this horse, it almost curves the other way, but yeah, usually pretty flat. And, um, no, I don't want that. <laughs> then the muzzle area right here, usually sometimes you'll indicate it by a circle. This little point there, kind of just curves down like that. And then just a line attaching these two parts. And let's see, how do I explain this? Uh, the muzzle of the horse, I mean, obviously there's like a nostril here, of course, and the mouth. There's not really anything to say about these. It's just, it's just there. You know, sometimes like horse mouths are pretty interesting. They'll kind of like curve down like that sometimes. You know, a little almost like frown, but not. <laughs> and there's, the lips are always very like flappy. I don't know. Does that, <laughs> is there, is there a better example? I mean, here's this horse. You can see the very tall nostrils and then the the flap of the lip right there and then over here this one also kind of is a good example nostril lip flap chin and there you have it horse mouth so <laughs> let's go back over here now and take a look at this horse again and so uh, we've got the horse eye which will be pretty far up there and do keep in mind that horse eyes are on their side of the head, so much so that they can't see directly in front of them. So it's especially noticeable when you look at a horse from the front view. When you're drawing a horse from the front view, um, you'll see how far the eyes are from each other. They've got this whole section of face in the middle and the eyes are like literally on the ends of the head. Let's see. Uh, one of the best masters of art. Thank you. Question. Are the art rules allow us to trace animals like uh, as in real animals? So um, I would say as practice, go for it. I mean, if you think like tracing any drawings or animals pictures will like help you learn, then sure. Just make sure that uh, if you do this, you aren't posting it anywhere. And if you like show anyone your art that is traced, do let them know and if you trace someone else's artwork give credit <laughs> like it is not your art in that case but it, it can be helpful to learn so um horse heads yes so uh, you know here's the that curve part like let's call it like the cheeks that i was talking about earlier you can see those here muzzle and then the interesting part, like after the eyes, like here's like the tip of the eye, kind of comes in like this, like zoop and zoop. And so let's talk about um, horse ears now. So horse ears, kind of just at this peak, like you see like this is where the top is right here. So usually the ears are just kind of stuck on there, right there and there. And so, I mean, ears, they're kind of, I don't know, they're hard to explain. We'll get a closer look on them. This one, they're not very, <laughs> they're just kind of there. The ears, um, like here, you can see the shape really well. Kind of goes like this and they like point in, sort of like that. And the ears are pretty far on the top of the head. They're pretty close together. So if you put them like on the sides, uh, you're going to end up with more like a donkey look, I would say. <laughs> That's get rid of that oh my sister is shoving my horsemanship manual under the door <laughs> let's see okay so I've got one of my horsemanship manuals this one should have some some helpful stuff in there let me just um, let me just turn this to the right page <laughs> oh this brings memories yeah here we go yes 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 so I will be using this as a reference for the rest of the live stream. I will currently just uh, set this on the floor over here. All right. Anyways, 
Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate you, sister. So, horse heads, um, another thing to note other than the ears is that, um, there are, like, lines. Like, you'll notice, like, you can kind of see, like, the, the underneath of the skin. You've got, like, these lines here. And they're definitely hard to explain. I don't honestly know, like, how much is muscle and how much is bone. But they'll usually be pretty, like, hard lines on the face. And, um, also over here you'll kind of see that too. They're just kind of all over the head around the eyes and it really there's no way I can really explain it you kind of just need to look at pictures of horses as a reference to understand it over here not so much as much but there is an interesting line over here like connecting to the eye just you know interesting things to notice and yeah that is that is horse heads I feel like I'm really missing a lot here so uh, let's let's go over here real fast and talk about the horse heads. So we've got, let's redraw what I demonstrated. This part here, let's draw the neck real fast. Here's a neck. So a uh, throat line, the cheek half circle thing. Does this, this doesn't have a name? Oh, it, it, it literally is the cheek. It's, it's just the cheek. So, um, the the face part of the the head is just a usually a straight line sometimes you'll get like a little bit of a bump especially if the horse's head is turned a little bit this kind of indicates where the eye is so we're gonna give our horse a little bit of a bump i'm gonna draw it as sort of facing a little bit towards us just a little bit and then the the, the muzzle uh, sometimes look at this little point that curves and then it curves in because there's a nostril right there and here is the other nostril because our horse is facing slightly towards us like I said so it'll look like that you'll only get like a little indication of the other nostril here and then the flappy lip that kind of curves down into a little frown it's a sad horse then the chin Sometimes we'll get a little bump here, like that, because that's where the that's where the mouth ends, and so it just kind of does a little little bump there. And <laughs> getting distracted by the the comments, um, then you end up with the connecting line right here. Don't connect it like that. That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, it connects closer to the bottom of this half circle cheek, so. Just like that and there you have a horse sort of this isn't my best horse drawing <laughs> uh, we should give it an eye and ears that would be that would be good we're not quite done here let's add some add some face lines you know just draw on those lines we saw so uh, let's give it an eye right up here So the eyes are usually just kind of uh, very round. I think people don't realize how round they are. They're round, but they're small, so don't make them very big. And usually their eyes are very dark. You can't really see like the pupil. So I'm just going to color that in like this. Pupils and horses are actually really weird. I don't think you would include this in your art because it's usually not very noticeable unless it's like really close up. But their pupils are actually more like this instead of like human pupils which are like this and it's very interesting it is weird when you look at a horse up close and they've got these weird pupils oops i am hitting the wrong um keys so we're just going to erase this the old-fashioned way how'd you decide on your channel name that is a good question should i save that for a q a or should i say that now um i basically just liked how um <laughs> How, um, well, part of it's like my cat's name, and then also I like how like big number names sound, but I took away like the I, so it would be like Kuzillion, but instead it's just Kuzillion, and that's basically it. Okay, so anyways, we've got the top of the horse head right here, which is where the ears are going to go. 
that goes down into the neck and so you just add the ears up there make them curve a little bit like we saw it in the picture and then also this is just the front so add a little bit of the back of the ear just like that and maybe we should give this horse some hair because this is a bald horse what kind of what kind of hair should I give this horse guys I need I need input I need your opinion does this what kind of horse like horse hair should this horse have <laughs> Should it have like a mohawk or um, like what I need, I need to know. Someone, someone give me something. You have five seconds. I don't know how much delay there is. <laughs> a mohawk, someone says. Give him floofy snazzy hair. Uh, okay, so we're going to give him like a floofy mohawk. So it's going to kind of like be curly a little bit. A curly mohawk. And a cool British top hat? All right. I don't know if that qualifies as hair, but we're going to add it anyways. So here's like the curly, floofy mohawk. Um, just goes like that. And then it's going to come up here at the, what's it called? The forelock. Yes, the forelock, which is like the horse bangs. And so like that, you can't even like see the other ear anymore. It's just covered in hair. <laughs> How beautiful. Let's make it a little bit longer. And then the, the top hat, I think someone said, it's going to be a little top hat. It's going to go like right here. And just like that. Can you even see the top hat? Make it darker. There we go. Here's our horse. And then uh, let's talk about horse markings. Bow at the end? At the end, where's the end? So let's add like, let's add the bow like at the ear. Just right there. All right, here we go. So uh, horse markings, sometimes you'll have a star like that, just kind of right between the eyes. You'll have like a stripe, I think called like a strip if it's thin, and a blaze if it's thick. It'd be like more like that. Um, Sometimes a horse will just have a light spot right on the muzzle here. Well, they, is it a snip? I don't know. I'm not on that page. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty simple. I would say no need to spend too much time on that. So here's our horse. Let's erase this unneeded line here. Right? Horse. So now let's quickly go back to our horse over here. Quickly add these things. Once again, just right here, here, muzzle. How does this look? I need to look at the whole horse. All right, that's fine. Let's make it a little bit closer. So yeah, you know, I hope that this is making sense. Just kind of the basic shape. Like that clean this up how much time do we have left we've been doing half an hour so far I think we're doing well I don't know how long this will take but <laughs> we'll see what's the horse's name uh, which horse uh, is it you mean this horse here I think this horse I don't know I think I need opinions uh, I don't know Start, start giving me name ideas, guys, for that horse. And maybe we'll name this horse, too. See, here's the top where the ears go. Add them on there like so. Just give him a little eye bump. Just like that. Another eye. Greg. <laughs> okay. So this horse will be Greg. Let's like Greg. This it's a, and then also it's a Gary. So I don't know if it should be Greg or Gary or maybe like Gregary. Let's do Gregary. I like that. 
It's like Gregory, but Gregary. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah, here's this horse again. Uh, let's give him mouth, nostril, some lines. And I think that's good with the head. Let's make the throat a little bit more visible here. And now, um, should be good like that. And next up is the legs. So let's take a look at some horse legs. First, as you can see over here, let's talk about the front legs first. Uh, first thing to notice is that there's this little triangle thing here that sort of marks where the start of the leg is. You talk Spanish. I, I do not really. I mean, I know some Spanish from Spanish class, but not, not very much. Uh, so knees right here, kind of just, you can mark them by a ball. And um, here's the top part of the leg. Let me grab my, here we go move this closer so yeah here's top part of the leg it just kind of goes like that it's sort of wider on the top than it is closer to the knee sort of thins out at the knee then the knee is like this ball here and then there's the is this the cannon it is this is the cannon which is like the bottom part below the knee this goes like that and then let's call these, I mean, is this, let's just call these the angles for like, just, just to make sense. I don't know if that's accurate, but like call these ankles. And then you can't really see too far down on this horse because it is standing in grass. So um, if you uh, just take your imagination and look at what I'm drawing, this is the pastern. It's sort of this. Um, what do you call this shape? It's like a trapezoid in a way. And then that connects to the hoof. And so yeah, just take a look at this again. We've got the hoof, the pastern, which is below the ankle thing. You know, we're just going to call it that. And the, um, the cannon, which is the lower part of the leg under the knee. There's the knees and the upper leg. Oh, you're Canadian? Very nice. And then this, um, if you look at the back legs, can't really see quite as well in this picture. So let's just do our best. You have, once again, the upper part of the leg, which sort of narrows when you get farther down. And then um, sort of like points. So you end up like a point here. This is like the equivalent of the the knees over here, but instead it sort of goes like this. I'll draw it better in a little bit. So that uh, narrows down and then you end up just like the ones down here with like the what we're calling the ankles and the pastern and the hoof. So there is those horse legs. Let's see, is there more examples over here? Yes. So if you take a look at this horse over here, let's look over here first. Uh, same thing. In fact, we've got the horse bending. So we've got um, kind of like a joint over here. I guess this is a joint. Goes just like that. Narrows down the upper part of the leg. Here's the knee right here, our ball. The cannon. The ankle. And here you can see better what I'm explaining. The pastern is this trapezoid right here and over here. Just connects the this little ankle part to the hoof. And so you can kind of get a good idea of how the leg bends, you know, just kind of at the joints. It's very simple. 
and then horses do have like an elbow right here yeah the chest right here you know you can kind of see just how it works I mean it kind of just makes sense if you think about it I honestly haven't thought about it too hard it's just kind of like just in my brain now but I think it's just something if you practice a little bit you kind of get the hang of it so then if you take a look at the back legs like I said it uh, narrows this part here is the the bump where the knee would be on the front of the legs just right here then it goes down to the cannon and the ankle part pastern can't really see and hoof and so now let's, let's draw it again over here really fast so you have let's draw um, just to indicate where we are on the horse here we go this horse is the best one yet there we go <laughs> so here is front half so you have a the upper part of the leg and let's draw that little triangle and so then we got the knee our little ball cannon which is kind of just this thin rectangular part sometimes you'll kind of get a bone there bone lines then the ankle part now this part sometimes you'll have some hair on it like kind of just coming off the back then the pastern part which is the trapezoid part which connects to the hoof just like that does that make sense guys that's interesting you can speak English but you can't speak it but you can write it I guess that makes sense I think speaking a language is kind of on a whole nother level which is why in language classes they always want you to like also speak it and not just write it we haven't thought of a name for some of the horses here that's true uh, some of them are not complete horses really like <laughs> I mean maybe at the end we can go through and name more of them but right now they're currently not and I just realized like how weird and large this leg is compared to like the horse's head on this one <laughs> makes sense okay <laughs> thanks again for coming everyone yeah here is basically just the front leg and back leg um, where am I putting the back leg you know what? let's just move right over to this drawing here let's start with the back leg back leg doesn't really have that triangle here and one thing I do want to mention is that the horse hip does not go up like this usually unless it's like really bent uh, that's what happens in my little pony but not usually in real life so we're going to get rid of that sometimes you might get like a little mark here just to like indicate where the hip starts but not a full just you know like <laughs> not like that so here is the upper part that sort of narrows down just like that and I'm gonna look at the whole part of the horse so that it doesn't look really wonky then we got the bump right there and this and you know it just goes like that just like that you kind of really get the shape down to the point where you don't even think about it like I know it seems kind of complicated I'm like naming all the different like joints and parts of the leg but once you get it down you don't you don't think about it <laughs> and we're gonna add a back leg on the other side because horses do have uh, pairs of legs they don't have just two legs like one in the front and one in the back that would be problematic so yeah, here's the horse's other leg. Maybe make it go a little bit back so the horse actually looks balanced. So there's the back legs. In fact, I think with our... I'm just rambling at this point. So I'm just going to make it look like that. 
I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit because it does look a little wonky. Sometimes you gotta change things, it's fine. Even if you're trying to tell 11 people how to draw it. <laughs> there we go, that's better. So yeah, there's the legs. Now the front legs, triangle part right there. Like so, knee. Let's do the other one, other knee. Let's make these back legs a little bit longer actually. Just make it go to the bottom of the campus. I mean the canvas. I know words. <laughs> the bottom of the canvas is now our ground here. I just decided this. Want to learn how to draw bunnies because I'm a bunny lover. Well, maybe we can do a bunny live stream. That would be fun. Eventually, we're going to have a live stream for like everything. So we're going to have like a chicken live stream and like a koala live stream. Ah, oh, you just got here. Welcome. We are drawing horses. It is very chaotic. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, and if anyone shows up like late or even like after the stream is over, I will probably leave this up so you can still like go through it and draw along. It's all good. I have no idea what my style is. It changes so often. Honestly, it's a good thing if your style changes a lot because you always want to try new things. And I always find my style changing a lot when I find new things that I like, new like little details and I start implementing them and I just end up changing my style all the time. <laughs> so yeah, here's their front legs. Dips in like that with the pastern like so so now we've got more of a complete horse so um yeah our horse is nearing completion we are missing a tail and i believe that is the only thing i have left on my uh talk about list so let's take a look at tails real fast and i should probably also give this horse a mane <laughs> It could use one. So if we take a look over here, here's a good example right here. You'll see how um, there, the tail, um, you might think of it as just hair, but there actually is a tail under there, believe it or not. Horses are not, they, their tails aren't just hair or, or else they would not be able to move their tails at all. So I can't really tell, you can almost see like the whole tail on this thing actually. It almost goes like that, it's kind of weird. You never. I don't know what a, like a shaved like horse tail would look like and I don't know if I want to know but they exist like that's a thing so you know and then the, the hair is like all attached to the tail so that's all coming off of that so when you're drawing like a horse tail you do have to consider like the tail part of the tail I love that <laughs> Do you guys ever just think about horse tails? They're very weird. Anyhow, so uh, let's just, you know, draw the back end of a horse over here. And as you remember, I talked about how it forms like a point. It's the croup right here. This is the, the tail point. And so let's add a tail um, if the horse is drooping its tail it's probably gonna look more like this and if the horse is uh, raising its tail it's going to probably look more like this some horses have generally more raised tails for some reason they're just like that but yeah just consider like where the tail of the tail is going and that will help you figure out how to put the hair. <laughs> so yeah, does anything else to talk about tails? I mean, sometimes, yeah, is there a place where I can see? There's not really much tail going on back here. And then when it comes to, you know, destroying the hair of the tails, it's just, you know, you know, you just kind of know how to draw hair. 
this isn't super important, but horsetails, they're like, you think of them like human hair, but the hair is almost like thicker. It's kind of weird like that. Like, the thread's usually like thick and tangly. Although, when you see it, just like on a horse and it's cl not like close up, you don't notice it. It just looks like human hair. <laughs> I could Photoshop this nice horse tail over here onto a human head and you wouldn't realize that it was um, horse hair. <laughs> you would have no clue. Anyways, back to reading the comments for a moment. People are talking about countries or something. Love that. <laughs> My voice is only slightly starting to go, so that's good. It's been lasting a little while. Probably because since school started, I am no longer just sitting in my house all day. So now my voice has had some time to, you know, like, be used. <laughs> See, someone says, for me, I find humans a little bit more easier to draw than animals for some reason. I lost my ability to draw animals. That's really interesting because, I mean, I guess animals, there's a ton of animals and humans are just humans. So, like, um... I guess that does, I mean, yeah, animals you kind of have to figure out how to draw every animal. And I mean, humans are pretty complicated. I think especially because we spend so much time around humans, we know them so well because we are them, and so it's easy to recognize when something is wrong with a human drawing. I spend so much time with horses, why can't I draw them? I think the funny thing for me is I think like after spending time with horses, I feel like I've like understood them more, like how to draw them. So I think that's funny. I think you just, you know, like, like the back of a, like when you spend a lot of time like riding a horse, you like know the back of their head really well. Just like the neck and the head and the ears, just the way it looks, I think. I don't know. I think it's just something that if you really like pay attention to, maybe you just gotta bring like a sketchbook and like while you're riding a horse, you know, just, just start drawing. <laughs> maybe don't, but you know. Th that's an idea. Anyways, where were we? Currently drawing a human as we speak. Good for you. Draw those humans. Or horses. You know, or anything. I completely lost track of everything we were doing. What were we doing? Uh, we were talking about tails. And, um... You know, maybe that was it. Maybe we were just talking about tails. So, uh, anything else? I feel like I'm really forgetting something. We can start naming these while I start thinking about what else I should, what else I should talk about. So let's get a name for this one right here. Just, just whatever name. What does it look, what does it look like? I like how the, the mouth muzzle look like, it looks like a smiley face. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to like yell out a name. It's only a matter of time. I'm not sure how much the delay is. And also while I'm sitting here, if you aren't subscribed yet and you have watched um, quite a few of my videos, I would really appreciate it if you did consider subscribing because it really helps me out. It just kind of lets me know that you're interested and it makes me happy. Someone says Tom, so I am going to say Tom right there. That is Tom. And someone uh, wrote Joe, but the first time they wrote Jow on accident. So it's going to have a last name. It is Tom Jow. And two people just yelled Henry. So another one's going to have to be Henry. Maybe this one's Henry. This one is just the rear end of a horse. This one's Henry. I haven't really talked about horse manes a lot. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say. They've got the, the forelock, which is like the bangs, then the mane. Sometimes uh, when you're drawing a horse, the mane, like as you can see, it goes over to one side. So if I was looking at the horse from this side, you would not really see much of the mane. But on this side, you would. And sometimes on a horse, part of the mane is going one way and part of it is like going the other way. Sometimes horses just have weird hair, and that's just the way they do things. 
that's just the way they are and we don't judge them but yeah just keep that in mind the horse's manes usually go one way or the other they don't just go like ah what's happening <laughs> I just pressed something they don't just go like if you draw a horse you know some people just go like that I mean maybe that horse is just having a weird hair day I don't know but typically it goes over to one side and I did something but it's fine it is fine we're just going to ignore that okay uh, name for this horse I think yeah we already gave one Henry that was like the horse rear Yeah, this is this is this is a great time. <laughs> I love how like some people have left. They're like, you know what? She's done. She's done explaining things. They're just they're just naming the horses now or whatever. I don't need to be here. <laughs> this is this isn't important anymore. So yeah, we need a name for this one and this one. This is this is very important, you guys. This is so important. <laughs> give give me names. I need them or else I will name them okay this one is going to be um leg just because it has a long leg yeah this one's leg and then what about this one this one looks pretty camera shy he's not like facing this way 11 33 p.m. where you are wow That's very late. Name them. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Or egg horse. Sure, egg horse. Steve the egg horse. Yes. This one is Steve the egg horse, I guess. So, so we're writing that now. He's pretty camera shy, so that's why he's facing the other way. Yeah, there we go. So now, um, I see what I did. I like lost my tabs. How do I get them back? I don't want to like mess around too much. Okay, well, you guys remember my other horse. My horse where I was just like drawing, um, you know, just the whole horse. You know, a plain looking horse. What's the boring horse's name? I don't know how to bring him back, but he, he's still there somewhere. <laughs> he's on break. <laughs> hmm. I'm just gonna start scrolling through these names and see what I like. Let's see. We've already got a Henry. We've already got a, well, not necessarily a Joe, but we've got Tom Jow. And name the boring horse life. <laughs> All right. Name him motivation. Life motivation that'll be his name we're gonna draw an arrow because he was like over there on the left life motivation Gregory has the fanciest hat I have ever seen I'm sure that Gregory really appreciates that Gregory yes of course uh, life what was it again life motivation <laughs> I think we could all use some of that The motivation to draw horses. Well, there we go. So uh, this is the only panel I'm left with. I don't know where the other ones went. And this is the weird looking one. So uh, we're just we're just stuck with this one now. <laughs> but luckily, I didn't screw up Photoshop until I was like done. So that's that's nice, I guess. So. Uh, we're probably gonna wrap up now, I guess. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions about horses and 
and um, life motivation and cool hats or, you know, anything before, before I go. So <laughs> hope you all have a good week and that um, you have nice weather and that you have a good life. Yeah. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it or else I would just be uh, talking to myself and teaching no one how to draw horse legs. I drew a really good Clydesdale a while back, but I lost the image. Oh no, that's the worst. I'm sure it was very beautiful though. Have you ever rode a horse? Yeah, I used to do like a horse summer camp every year and that was always lots of fun. That was like my horse phase era. It was great. So <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for watching. If no one else has anything else to say, I can probably go. How to draw good eyes. I will do a how to draw eyes video at some point, I'm sure. And maybe more like live streams. Maybe I'll do more like general art drawing live streams. That should be fun. I know like the first one we did was like a general one and this one was focused. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably switch it around maybe. Kind of like doing both. Whether here in England it's probably going to be rain. Eh. <laughs> rain can be good sometimes, you know. Make the the plants live, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, how do I end this? Okay. I just realized that my like all of my tabs are gone. So I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to like fiddle with this. <laughs> I don't know how to end this live stream. Maybe if I hit the YouTube end live stream button, it will end. And then I can fiddle with this afterwards. But currently, I have completely lost my, like, normal end live stream button. <laughs> it's just gone. I have to live stream here forever. So, yeah. I've said this already, like, twice. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.